Okay, what's going on everybody? Uh, hey, my name is Tavares and this is uh, me giving you my view on uh, being an independent courier. This is my first load and I wanted to give you guys a, a quick video on uh, what I have to do, how I got the load, and um, just just my take on it. So, you know, I, I just started doing this. I found out about it um, on YouTube actually. Uh, from a guy named JT Hustles. If you if you haven't uh, heard of him, you should uh, YouTube him. He got a lot of good information and he helps a lot of people find uh, uh, different ways to make money. So I found it uh, by watching his videos. And so uh, here I am now doing my own video, my first my first video for my first load. So um, this is really you know for you if you have already gotten your MC your DOT number you got a, you on a uh, on load board and you just haven't done your first route, a first load. So this is this is uh, me telling you what it's like, showing you what it's like. So uh, the load board I use is Selectus. Um, Selectus is, is pretty good at, it, 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 I mean, it, every, I, I use the email version of it, so uh, all day they just send emails on loads um, and throughout the country. And so um, this morning I woke up, <clears throat> I, I went to the load board, for me, uh, it seems like around 7.30 in the morning is where when most loads start uh, popping up. So I was just on a load board and um, I saw this one, I put a bid in it for, you gotta put bids in. So um, when you put a bid in, you gotta understand other people are bidding for these same loads. So you may or may not uh, get them. And that's the most frustrating part about it is cause you know, you know, people would bid cheap for these loads. And that kind of hurt a lot of people in the industry because, you know, this is how most of pe most people make a living. And so when you have people bidding cheap for cheap loads, the broker are going to go with them. Unless you build a good relationship with uh, these brokers, that, that's probably what they'll do. They'll go with the cheaper loads, uh, cheaper bids. So I bid it on this load. It's about uh, $2 per mile. It's um, a total of 169 uh, miles from the pickup to the drop off. Now, for me to get to this location, it was 60 miles. I added it into my uh, my bid. So, in total, it's about uh, 220, 230 uh, miles. So, like I said, I, I added that to my uh, my bid. So, it's about uh, $2, $2 a mile. So, I'm here in, uh, in Mills River, North Carolina, and I have to take it to Ridgeway, South Carolina. That'll probably take me a little bit of uh, two and a half hours to, to, to make that uh, that trip. Uh, so I feel like for that, for I, I mean, that, that gave me the time to get another load if I have to. So um, today, you know, with the, as a possibility, I, I can make, you know, 400, 500, 600 dollars today. Um, and that's just me staying in this area. If I was to go out and try to, you know, hit, go out further, hit uh, maybe 600, 700 miles out, you know, it'd be a lot more money. But I'm, I'm, I'm trying to stay a little local today. So, like I said, I woke up, uh, I put in the bid, they, they email you back and tell you, hey, we put the, uh, we're waiting on the customer. And if it's, if it's good, they'll let you know, hey, we want the, the load. They'll send you a ship confirmation. Uh, the ship confirmation, it'll tell you everything. It'll put your company name, uh, where you're going, the uh, piece count, the weight, um, at what time to be here, and, um, and then what time to drop off the load, and, and also your, uh, you know your uh, your uh, rate, the price that you put in. So I was supposed to be here at uh, twelve o'clock. Right now it's eleven twenty-four, so I'm a little early. I wanted to show you. Uh, I wanted to be able to get here early to make this little video for anyone that that's, that's interested in it. And and I know it's a lot of videos online uh, with people in cargo vans and couriers, um, and I feel like. Hey, I want to make a video too, um, cause this is my first one, and and it can be you know a little nervous, but it's it's, it's, it's very simple. Now, I have a Dodge, I have a 2017 Dodge Pro Master City. As you can see, it's pretty small. You no, know, it's pretty small. Um, I still have to get more equipment. Uh, you, you got to have the right equipment for these loads to strap down. I have straps and everything, but uh, the van. My van is a, like I said, a 2017 Dodge Pro Master City. It's it's small. So if I were you, 
I would look for I would look for a bigger man. Uh, 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 sprinters are popular. The Dodd Pro Master, um, uh, 2500 to 500. I'm, I'm not sure the, uh, the names of them, but you want at least over 120 uh, inches of, of cargo space. You know, um, if you're going to be really, really on the road, you want to have enough room to where you can put you a bed, uh, have your nice little setup for the days where you may have to spend a night uh, in a different city. You know, save money from uh, on hotels. So I don't have that. So right now, I, what I'm going to have to do is to work my way up to get a, a bigger van. Uh, so, but right now, okay, guys, here you go. You about to load my van. I'll be right back. So, uh, this is a perfect example of a, um, my van. It's, it's too, the, the roof is not high enough, so we had to take off a, um, one of the pieces. So, um, that was that. I signed the paper, and now I'm over to the uh, drop off. So, I'm glad I was able to show you uh, what I meant by this van being too small on my first, uh, first load. So, um, uh, but yeah, I'm about to head up to the delivery. And when I get there, I uh, get back in with you. So I made it to the drop off, and um, as soon as I pulled up, the guy was waiting on me uh, with the forklift, so I wasn't able to record him unloading the van. And um, I got the um, the BOL or the PO, the POD, and I got him to sign it right here. So now what I what I do next is I'll take a picture of it. Uh, take a picture of the uh, POD and the BOL and send it to the uh, broker and then I'll send it to my uh, dispatcher also. That way um, he'll have proof that I, I uh, got it signed and I made the delivery and the brokers will and that's how you get paid. So the, uh, the dispatcher that I work with, um, he normally pays the same day or within, it'll be the next day. So. Um, I hate that I wasn't able to to record it, so I can show you guys how like how simple it was. But that that shows you how simple it was. I, I wasn't even able to record it because I when I got here he pulled up and took it off. So uh, now what I do is I can either be done for the day, you know it's it's uh, it's two thirty six. I can be done for the day, but I'll probably um head up to Charlotte and look for some more loads for tomorrow. Or if I can find something in the area, I I I do that today. So. So today, this load was uh, about four hundred dollars. So it took me a total of, uh, I would say, all together, it probably took me about four hours. So we're talking about about a hundred dollars per hour for today for that load. Um, and so 
to me, that's not a bad day. I, can, I still have the opportunity to go make more money. So, you know, it's a possibility that if I wanted to, I can go make another four hundred dollars for the day. So, uh, the money is available for you to make. It's just it's just up to your uh, your hustle. So, um, I'm about to sign out. Uh, like I said, this is my uh, first day doing this. It wasn't that bad. It was pretty easy. And I'm gonna see if I can find another one. And if I come across anything where I feel like it'll be beneficial to you all that's looking forward to getting to this, I'll, I'll try to post it. So uh, see you later.